Well, hello everybody. I'm out here on Lake Champlain, right near Willsboro, New York. And among many other things, what I'm doing is fishing. Primarily for smallmouth bass. And I'm snorkel fishing. I've got uh, all of the gear that I use right there. Mask and snorkel and flippers. And then also just a stick that I found here by the bank that I got wrapped up with 15 pound test line triline. Uh, I have an eighth of an ounce bullet sinker and it's stuffed with rubber bands so I can just slide that up and down the line at any length that I want it to be. You can see the rubber band stuffed in there. And I've got that tied on to a number six gamakatsu circle hook. And what I'm using for bait is right underneath all those rocks right there. Uh, there's two different kinds of crustaceans that I use mainly. And I got a few of them here just to show you. I'm using crawdads, which are super plentiful. They're underneath about every fifth rock I turn over. And I'm also using these, I, I call them water centipedes. I don't know what they are. But they got a hard shell on them too, and they look a little bit vicious, but uh, they don't hurt too bad when they do bite you. Uh, those are the main baits that I use, but when I turn over a rock, if I find something else that I think uh, might work, well, <laughs> I'll use it too. Uh, and I'm using just live bait out here. For one, it's a whole lot more fun. And two, this is kind of a weird time of year for smallmouth bass. This particular area of Lake Champlain is uh, just now reaching uh, spawning temperature, the water temperature. But it's also really inconsistent temperature because this area is also in a windy season. And so it doesn't take much wind to churn the water up and get it back down to a temperature that's too cold for spawning. And so what you end up having is a population of pretty confused fish. Uh, and they're wanting to start a good spawn, but they're finding that they are unable to because when the temperature feels right, uh, it's possible that in, in another hour or two, the temperature could be too cold for their eggs to be able to survive. And so they're not really starting a good spawn. Now, I expect I'll probably find a bed or two out there from some early spawners uh, just stubbornly putting up with the cold temperature. But I don't think I'm going to find any females willing to lay any eggs in those beds. Uh, but since it is this close to spawn, I think it's going to be pretty tricky to induce a bite. But that's what I'm going to try to do anyway, and that's why I'm using live bait, and that's why I'm choosing the smallest live bait that I can. Because the fish won't really feel in the mood to be eating, but if they see something small and easy right in front of their face, it's going to be pretty hard for them to resist. So, uh, join me, won't you, on my quest to get some smallmouth bass to bite. Even if I don't, It'll be just an absolute pleasure swimming and fishing in a spot like this. All right, let's see if we can't catch us a crawdad.
Well, let that be a dead gum lesson to you. If you don't even got a fishing pole, and you got a gear, get yourself out in the dead gum water and try to catch you a dead gum fish. A dead gum fish. Dead gum fish. Dead gum fish. Yeah, <laughs>